Hey guys, so today I'll be doing a review on the CoverGirl Liquiline Blast Eyeliner because I got a request to do so. And this is what it looks like. The color that I got is number 420 Brown Blaze. So it just looks like this. And it has a smudge brush on one end. Or a, a little smudger thing on the one end. And just the normal pencil tip on the other end. And I still have the packaging, so I'll go ahead and show that to you. This is what the packaging used to look like. It says Liquid Line Blast. It's a new product from CoverGirl. Number is 420 Brown Blaze, like I said before. And on the back, it says effortlessly create striking eyeliner looks with lasting liquid like intensity. Our high pigment formula and smudger work together to give you intense looking eyes that will get you noticed. And on the front, it says liquid like intensity, and I guess that's why it's called Liquid Line Blast as well. And I got this for about six or seven dollars at Target. And I guess the verdict on this is that this is an okay pencil, but in no shape or form is it anything like a liquid eyeliner. It's definitely not as opaque and intense and rich as a liquid eyeliner. So if you would compare a liquid liner to a marker, you know, in terms of drawing, then I would. This feels more like. Uh, a deep crayon, like a crayon with a lot of pigment in it. So I'll just go ahead and swatch this for you guys. Okay. That is what it looks like. And yes, the color is pretty rich and dark and it gives off a good amount of pigment and it's very soft and creamy, so I would say that it's a good pencil eyeliner. But this is definitely not a substitute for liquid liner if you're a liquid liner fan like me, so I still use liquid liner on my upper lash line. And I'll compare it to two other pencil liners that I'm really fond of. This is the Ulta Automatic Liner in black brown. So it's an automatic pencil and you just swivel it up. And this is the color compared to the... So on the top is the Ulta Liner and the bottom is the CoverGirl Liquid Line Blast. So they're very similar in pigment and in color. And this is my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Zero, which is a black color. And I'll swatch that right on top as well. So the very top is the Urban Decay, the middle is the Ulta Automatic Liner, and the very bottom is the CoverGirl Liquid Line Blast. So if you are, if you look at this, the rich, the richness and intensity are all very similar, and they're all pencil liners. So I like all three of these because they're very creamy and pigmented. However, it does smudge off. Like when I do a cat eye, the ends, the wings of the cat eye do smudge off throughout the day, or at the end of the day, I feel like it's mostly faded already. Although on the actual lash line itself has pretty good staying power it lasted the whole day for me and it does fade a little bit but you can still see the line and all in all it's very creamy and easy to apply it reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay glide on pencils I do recommend this cover like the line blast eyeliner if you're looking for a good creamy pretty pigmented eyeliner pencil but not if you're looking for a replacement for liquid liner because this isn't it and I would still use liquid liner and since I use liquid liner more than pencil liner, lately I've been trying to, I've been using this over my liquid liner just to soften it up and smudge it out a little bit because this is really easy to smudge out for that smoky effect because it is really soft and creamy and it glides on really smoothly. So I usually use this over my liquid liner now. And yeah, for days I want to look more natural, I use this by itself because by itself it doesn't have nearly as much intensity as a liquid liner so it looks more natural. And I think I'll go check out the other colors in this line and see how they are because these are pretty good quality liners. So definitely check it out if you're in, if you're looking for a good pencil liner. Oh, and I did get a new camera which I filmed uh, the wavy curly hair tutorial with and I'm going to have it up after this video so I'll put a link at the end of this video for if you're interested in how to get this hair. So thank you guys so much for watching and have an awesome day. If you have any questions or concerns or whatever, just put them down in the comments.